guys. Sorry. Okay. So, Jose Boy is here, and today you're gonna learn how to be like what? Oh. Okay, it's not a drop kick, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So today you're gonna learn how to do a very effective side kick, dynamic side kick versus a traditional side kick. All right. Are you ready? Because this motherfucker is not ready. Okay, ready, let's go. Okay, there's two types of side kicks. One of them is a famous traditional side kick that you can find it into the karate katas or even in taekwondo punses. Okay, um, but there's also a second one, and this is the dynamic side kick, which is the same kick, but they are kind of different because. The traditional is respecting step by step and you cannot miss one of those steps because if you miss one of those steps you're gonna uh, you're not gonna do the, the kick like properly okay and the second one is a dynamic side kick which is a, um, a dynamic fastest and unpredictable version of the first one Okay, um, well, in my opinion, so I, I respect a lot of the traditional techniques because it's part of the martial arts. But if you want to use it into the streets combat situation, I recommend more the dynamic part of the martial arts because master martial art never, never ends to learn so you are always always learning from many uh, styles from many people from many practitioners so that's the beauty of martial arts you never stop learning so um, and you have to be you know updating your skills updating your techniques because there's kind of techniques that you cannot use in a real combat situation so um, in this occasion, I'm going to show you these two types of side kick. The traditional side kick versus the dynamic side kick. Alright? So, let's go with it. Alright. First of all, I'm going to show you the traditional version. Well, well the traditional side kick was the first side kick. So, I'm going to show you the original and traditional side kick. Okay? Step by step. First of all, you have to be in fighting stance, like, you know, facing your opponent, okay? And second of all, when you are correctly in the position, so you have to take your back leg and put it behind your left leg, like this. Boom. All right? Boom. Okay? You see how my back leg slice behind to my left leg okay so next step it's you have to see in three quarters in three quarters to your opponent like this and then you have to the the, the third step it's going to be your knee has to be up okay and the fourth step you release the key like this boom okay so, let's do it one more time. Okay. First of all, back leg, like this. Behind the left leg, okay? It's just a slice, like one, okay? Two, you have to look at it. Look to your opponent, okay? You have to look your target. In this occasion, this is gonna be the target because it represents the ribs and the stomach, okay? So, okay, the first step was, what was that? Okay, the first step, what was that? Like first, back leg behind your left leg. Second step, like look for your target, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a body or whatever. It can be a, a target, it can be a heavy bag, whatever. Okay, the third, uh, no, sorry, the fourth step, it's just 
releasing the, the kick like this. Okay? Okay. Let's do it one more time, but this time just one, just one motion like this. Always bouncing, okay? Just one motion like. So, the main important thing of this kick is that you have to kick not just with your leg, you have to kick with all your body. And how do you do that? You have to move correctly your hips. Like, for example, hips, when you kick, you have to release your hip also. Like, boom! It's not like just. Not like this. Not like this. It's just ah, you have to release your hips. It's very important. Okay. Okay. So um, now I'm gonna show you the second side kick, which is the dynamic side. All right. This kick is more effective in a real combat situation. Obviously. You have to be mastery. You have to master it because you cannot um, you cannot release any kick if you're not mastering. So you can do it, but always your opponent is going to it's going to know what you're gonna do. So you have to be very very careful and master it. Practice every day any kick, not just this kick, every kick, like the uh, the wrong house kick, like drop kick, like. Um, side key, like back key, back swing, whatever. Any key you have to practice every day and a lot of time. You have to give it, you know, a lot, a lot of time practicing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the second dynamic side key. It's kind of similar with the different that I, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do the, uh, the fork step, okay? The first one was like first step, second step, third step, fourth step. Alright? This is going to be just one step, like well, it can be even two steps. Because if the first step is you know the impulse, like going forward, okay? Going forward, but not with but with your body like this. You have to be forward, you know, on the side. And then, when you are in the, in the half of the way, you have to change your position with this, right? That was the difference between the traditional psyche and the dynamic psyche. See you next time.